Hey guys, this is a Five, Mists Plus 26 four, three, uh, run I did two, earlier today. Uh, it is again a bug group. Uh, we didn't have any voice. The tank was in my friends list, but uh, I only did like two or three keys with him. Uh, we had the monk, we had the warlock as a comp, so no hunter for this run, no rogue either. Uh, I think this is a great comp because I bring the single target and it's fortified so they can bring the AoE. Uh, this is also a sanguine week so having two uh, monks here with two rings is really really good in my opinion. <coughs> so what we decided to do is skip the first part, then skip this with a uh, ring and uh, in cap, in cap and ring rather. Uh, so for this first pull I'm trying to fish a clear casting proc so I can get my <coughs> stacks faster uh, so I can use my CDs faster I'm using my ruby here uh, a bit late but I did as you can see I got the crit buff before my first arcane barrage and I crit it on the second one uh, I didn't use potion cures because I really wanted I really wanted potion for uh, the boss pool for the for the burst phase. Uh, I used my brush here because I thought the other ad didn't have much HP, but apparently it was dead. So, as you can see, I only had 14 stacks of uh, Kirin Harmony. Uh, that's not the worst thing ever. Not Kirin Harmony, sorry. Uh, Arcane Harmony. So, I only need to do 4 stacks here before using my 45 seconds cooldown. So, just using my clear casting proc, they're done. Uh, here, I'm doing 1. <clears throat> Arcane Blast cast and three instants so that I can move when the adds are was going to put the the thing on me, the the branches that I have to move from. Here the plan was to use my four five seconds on pull on these two adds, use my EP again at the end of these two adds, and then forty five seconds on pull on boss on the tree, and have EP again for the burst phase on tree. It's fortified, so these ads last long enough for me to have uh, two sets of CDs on them. And the boss lasts short enough for me to only do my 45 second CD on it. Watch your feet. <coughs> Watch your feet. As you can see, I use my AP just as planned here. Uh, using Invis as a defensive again here, guys, don't forget, Invis is a very good defensive ability. 60% uh, damage reduction for 3 seconds, so you can use it as often as you can. I'm asking them to help the Aurelic because uh, I'm planning to uh, use my CDs on pool, but I don't think I ended up doing it. Uh, I'm only gonna use my 45 second CDs and with Ur, that brings it down to a really short a really short cooldown so uh, you know having her or not I'm going to have my touch of the magi for for boss for the main boss I mean <coughs> yeah this ad is taking way longer than, <laughs> than expected to be honest uh, I also was unlucky with crits I didn't have much mana here either, but that's not an issue because we always kill Ur, so I wanted to make sure we kill Ur, uh, so I did the first barrage on it, uh, and trying to build my stacks on it again. I have my instant arcane blasts, which I can use to do the CDs. As you can see, I'm casting the first arcane blast, but the other three I'm doing them instant, so that I can, you know, move while I do my CDs. Clearing my clear casting procs after I do my rotation inside the touch of the magi window so that my uh, arcane missiles from clear casting go into the touch of the magi. We have a shaman, so he's gonna use tremor totem on the fear almost every time. Uh, Ur is almost dead, and I really needed Ur to die because uh, I was going ooms out of mana soon. Uh, I used radiant spark uh, here uh, with the Rune, just because Radiant Spark has, uh, I don't even know, maybe an 8 second cooldown with the uh, Ur, 
and as you can see I already have it back so I just used it to you know, pump a bit more damage into Dromain. Here I used my trinket on really low and uh, I got up to 51% crit but sadly I didn't crit as you can see I did 240k non-crit I critted on other barrages but not the, not the big one uh, and so you know my touch on edge I didn't do that much <clears throat> I'm still first TPS of course here because uh, Arcane is I would say the best back for this uh, here the plan was to use my 45 seconds again on the tree and then have AP again for the second burst phase uh, except the tree feels like it's dying really fast, so what I decided to do is just use my 30 seconds and try to have AP faster back up because uh, like I can reduce the cooldown to a bit less than 1 minute 30, I'd say minute and 15 seconds if I get enough clear casting procs and that's what I'm trying to do now as you can see my cooldown is right now at 25 seconds but it's going down really fast when I'm using a clear casting proc I don't have my ruby back up again, uh, and I didn't crit on this phase either, uh, but I still did a lot of damage. I had the clear casting proc here, waiting to be burned uh, after my 4 global rotation. 4 arcane blast, 1 arcane barrage, no crit again. A proc into a proc, dude, look at my dibs! Oh. I got a nice crit on that second barrage, which didn't have all the stacks that the first one had, but 100 extra K is still welcome. As you can see, I'm still being the first damage here. I don't have mana though anymore. <laughs> I'm not using my evocation here because uh, my mana regeneration is pretty high if I don't use any spells as I'm playing with 36% crit um, so as you can see I almost have enough right now uh, I know we are going to pull the right side back so I'm just waiting to use my 45 seconds on that one uh, it just so happened that I had enough clear casting procs that I could get my AP back up so I just used AP with the uh, with the ruby on the n on this pool, I didn't have mirror images though, so this was pretty scary, and I really thought I was going to get aggro. I used ruby on one of the low health targets, and here doing my AOE rotation. As you can see, I still got aggro. I used invis to lose the aggro, and the ad is going back into the pack, so that my touch of damage explodes to all of the ads. That was lucky. Uh, touch of the Magi could have, you know, exploded in single target because I had aggro and uh, the mob ran out of the pack, but luckily he got back in time. Luckily for me. Um, this maze is really good for a cane because uh, you basically have your CDs for every pack. So right now I use my you know my AP and okay the pack is dying a bit slow because of Sanguine uh, but if on like push weeks where you don't have Sanguine even on Tyrannical you have CDs for every pack so you use AP on one pool and then you do the maze and then you have 45 seconds and then, then you do the maze and then have AP back up the fact that it's longer now uh, actually has an advantage for me is that I'm going to be able to ruby this pack at the end of it and uh, you know, really, really blast uh, the beginning of next pool with much more crit and a having more chances proc, dude, to crit. Proc proc, dude, As you can see in the AOE rotation in up to 5 targets, 4 to 5 target cleave, uh, even with only my 45 CDs, uh, I'm doing like dec a decent amount of damage. These were my 45 second CDs and I did 40k. Okay, the damage is going to go, you know, down right now. Um, but that's still pretty nice. As you can see, my ruby is coming back in uh, 11 seconds. I have a doubt proc that I'm going to look at. Um, uh, 
Yeah, so see, I use my macro. My potion is back up as well, so using my ruby right now. Pre using my images. Pre using potion, radiant spark. I even have my racial back. L look at how much I engage on this with the crits. So. Easy 90k engage. Uh, and I'll one statue of the Magi explodes. Almost 100k. Uh, the pack is like already getting deleted. As you can see, the monk used his CDs as well. I didn't realize they wanted to pull more because if I did, maybe I wouldn't have Interrupt. Ruby, then I would have waited for everything to be stacked. Uh, but this is not the worst thing ever. Like, I can't wait too much with my CDs as Arcane. As you can see, the time for him to pull was about 30 seconds because right now I, I'm 10 seconds Just off fair. my. Um, my 45 second cooldowns so I can just use my 45 seconds again on this on the same pool so you know waiting for him to pull I don't think that would have been a good idea I'm actually happy I didn't notice and I just cd on, on the, the first part As you can see, I have AP again for next pool, 20 seconds, but that should be the time that we take to kill these adds, because none of us have CTs anymore. <coughs> Interrupt. Using evocation to be Interrupt. sure that I have enough mana for the next pool. Using my rune of power here because I know I don't need it for the next 45 seconds, so it's going to come back for my 45 seconds CDs. Well, in 45 seconds. Uh, this pull took actually so long that I have my ruby now. <laughs> uh, and since we pulled here, we had to do the maze. Uh, I was the one who did it just because uh, nobody apparently looked at everything. Uh, here, so okay, they wanted us to pull more after we kill Ur. So what I thought is, I'm not going to Ruby Ur and single target DPS, I want to do more damage, uh, even though I'm a funnel class. Uh, I'm going to wait for them to, you know, pull the adds uh, before, I, before I use AP. So what I did here is use the 45 seconds. With Ur, this is going to be greatly reduced to about 15 seconds. Watch so your I'm pretty sure that my 45 seconds right now will Watch be... Uh, like I will have them, I will have everything ready with the AP when the other pack is pulled. As you can see, the Warlock pet is going what to pull on the right it? side. I used my Ruby on the Dying Ur, and uh, you're going to see that my Touch of the Major is going to come back on cooldown. I also took the what Doubt proc. I looked at it at the last second, so what as you can step? see right now, everything is lined up. My crit buff, my Doubt, my CDs. I didn't crit though. A proc your proc, dude. Look at my I critted on the second barrage, but the first one is the one that hits a bit harder. Mm, Use invisis here to lose aggro because I didn't have mirror images. Uh, I didn't target the Mistville, you know, the Toad, uh, with my AP just because he jumps away, and I don't want, you know, my Patch of the Magi to explode in a single target. Watch I want it step. to do damage to the adds uh, on the sides as well. Uh, so, you know, what I decided to do is not do AP on it, but right now I have my 45 seconds what back up, step? and since the other ads are basically dead, uh, I'm going to s just do my single target rotation on the Toad. Uh, I'm considering, like, the ads dead. Uh, they have such little HP What's that step? it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a negligence. You can neglect it. Watch your step. Watch your step. Uh, I'm actually oom. <laughs> this pool was super long. I had time to do my 45 seconds, to do AP, to do my 45 seconds Watch again. Uh, this is fortified, of course, with Sanguine as well, so that's why it takes so long. Uh, but the fact that we have two monks, we're I think we're managing Sanguine pretty Watch well. Uh, as you can see, also our Bloodlust is coming step. back up, but uh, luckily we have like almost enough percent, and we had a pretty good maze as well. Uh, not gonna lie, step. we had the left side, and we had like perfect percent so uh, I think it's this pack and then one pack and then the and then the boss uh, I use Ruby here with mirror images 
It's fortified, so I want to get as much damage as possible, you know, on the on the packs, on the adds. I didn't crit here, but still doing a lot of damage. I crit on the second barrage. So I'm still doing about, what, 60k, 70k almost now. So my 45 seconds are up for the next pool, um, which I really pray that wasn't going to be boss, uh, because if it was going to be boss, I'd have to use my 45 seconds with the bloodlust, and that's not, you know, great. Uh, I helped Shaman do the do the maze, uh, and this was the no, the opening, so this is perfect, actually. Our pulls take longer than 45 seconds, they take about 1 minute, so even if I line up my 45 seconds with it, uh, I have ruby for almost every AP. As you can see, I have ruby now. Uh, I mean, I should have ruby for the beginning of the boss with bloodlust and everything. Uh, and, you know, that makes me have such, like, so much more chances of pumping. We will also have 66% at the end of this pull. So, um, percent wise, we are fine. We don't need to pull an extra pack before going boss. Actually, looking at the timer now, this uh, this boss took a while. Um, it took about four minutes. I cannot use that item yet. So, I used Ruby at the end. I also got a Pelagos proc, which I think I ignored. Oh my god, I totally ignored it. I didn't realize it. Because I critted here and I could have done so much more damage. Uh, but I had my potion up, so that was fine. As you can see, I engaged with almost 100k in single target there. Stay away from lines. We almost managed to face the boss before Ur dies. Uh, that would have been crazily good for the healer. Uh, as you can see, my cooldowns are coming back up really fast because of Ur. So what I decided to do is use only my 30 seconds. To be honest, I shouldn't have used anything here. Uh, like only my rune of power maybe because... Because my Argan power cooldown is actually so low. And with only, you know, uh, like, one clear casting proc, I could have gotten it down to, you know, like, you can see it's ready now, and I still have 10 seconds of uh, Radiant Spark. I had a doubt proc again, Stay away from uh, and I looked at it a bit early, but it's okay, because I still got it in time for my for my CDs to go off. I also had my racial to have more haste, to be sure I do. Stay away from As you can see, 1 minute 30 into the fight, I'm still doing 25k on this boss. Uh, this is mainly because of that engage. Like, since I only used one more set of CDs, Stay which didn't crit, lines. and we both, we all know that uh, that doesn't do much damage. Uh, so it's only the fact that I critted their own pool. Um, I'm th I have my 35 seconds, Stay away from 30 lines. seconds, sorry, CDs again here, and I'm going to use them without touch of the Magi just because uh, I. Th I would have waited too much, I think, and we actually have to kill this clone. I can see the link, so Stay what I did is heal myself to full, get in the link so I can help the others. Uh, I also used Invis as a defensive, so that I, you know, I, I'll help the healer as well. So I used Invis, I um, Stay away from pressed... Uh, the Warlock Cookies and uh, Kyrian Potion. And as you can see, my AP is again ready. And I'm just using it now. Uh, it's a 26, Stay and even though it's fortified, I don't think I have the damage to try to skip the phase. Especially with 4 set. Before 4 set, uh, when Touch of the Magi window was only 10 seconds or 8 seconds. What was it? 8 seconds. Um, 
Stay away from your me. barrage and your touch of damage I would hit almost at the same time. So, you know, you would do a lot of damage like in the in the same global. That's why you could try to skip this phase totally and insta kill the boss doing 600k damage. But right now you can't because your Stay barrage hits so much earlier than touch of the magi, so you can't like do all the damage at the same time. Stay away from lines. And as you can see, I'm almost dying here, and I don't have any defensives up except block. Uh, I used my touch of the magi, and I tried to use everything on that. Uh, clone just because I know I'm going to have them back uh, for the next pool. I didn't block on that phase because I had to help with DPS uh, on the clone. Uh, I know that block of course would have helped me be alive but I don't know if we would have phased it in time if I would have just stayed in lock and basically did no damage. Uh, we have 9 minutes left here. Um, I thought it was a bit tight, but we apparently went super fast after this, I don't know, this was really nice. If you jump after you fall down, you can blink when you're close to the ground and you insta get to the ground and that makes you be able to mount faster. <clears throat> As you can see, we're skipping this, uh, so we can insta go into the double pool and let's say accelerate the rhythm of the dungeon, <coughs> because we we don't have that that much time left. Used all my CDs again here. Sadly, I thought I targeted the right one, but I targeted the wrong target. I didn't target the one with the most, with the most HP. Uh, but that was alright because, uh, you know, the, the Warlock and the Monk were pumping these a lot. I was pumping actually as well, even though it's AoE. Interrupt. Run out. So we had 7 minutes here, I didn't try to calculate how many times I could AP, I just tried to, you know, do my CDs on cooldown so I can CD as often as possible before the timer runs off. Uh, I also shipped the patrol because I felt like if we skipped that back after the second boss, we didn't want to play this. Um, I thought the tank might paralyze it, but, you know, it's just safer to ship to Dispel. make him gain some time. Uh, somebody used his blood elf there to dispel the Run out. to dispel the shields. Uh, as you can see, I'm targeting the wrong target again here. I don't know why these two pulls I didn't manage to, to get the right one. But it's alright because I'm doing my AOE rotation, which mainly does AOE. Uh, it does a bit of funnel. As you can see, orange is a bit lower than the others, but not much more, especially since I didn't crit. And swapping to the staghorn right now, which is the target I should have taken from the start uh, in the other pool as well. Uh, and then we shipping because ship almost ran off. We had eight seconds left of it. Uh, right now I can see that there are six minutes thirty seconds left on the on the timer, so I know I can potion twice, two more times. Run out. Uh, so I'm using my CDs here. My ruby is almost ready as well. A proc and your proc, dude. Look at my tips. Oh. I critted there without ruby on the first one. That was really great. I don't know why no, I no. held it. I should have just pressed ruby again here just for the damage on the arcane explosions. But I think I'm just gonna you know, hold it for my next set of CDs. Uh, so as you can see, we have 6 minutes left to play 1 pack on the boss, which is really fine, especially on 45, because the boss doesn't last that long. Run out. Run out. So as you can see, uh, since I used my EP on the last pool, I have my 45 seconds ready now. 
I'm going to use them fully even though my AP is back in 30 seconds because I know that with Ur I'm going to get back AP Oh uh, sorry, touch of the Magi for AP on cool with the boss I also know I can use Ruby 3 more times because there are 5 minutes left and it has a 2 minute cooldown Interrupt. Uh, we're of course trying to finish the ads first uh, before starting the boss. Uh, I'm also doing my mana gems here because I know that we get Ur, so casting the mana gem uh, like creation doesn't uh, you know affect my mana at all since Ur is going to die anyways. Uh, and as you can see, the ads are almost dead. We have like four minutes twenty to kill this boss. Uh, we only had one death, he used touch here, touch of death, so I couldn't ruby, but that's alright, we just made the key go faster, um, still used my EP here, still got a crit luckily, uh, with the, you know, the crit I had from the ruby, even though I didn't use ruby on a low health target, I still got enough apparently for me to crit, um, also, I didn't see that we didn't have Bloodlust, so I use Bloodlust right now, so I just ask the Shaman to Bloodlust whenever, you know, we're going to have it ready, because I use it right now for no reason, for, uh, like, I just thought we had it, so I pressed it, and I was like, oh, I, actually, we don't have it. <laughs> um, using my 45 seconds here, as you can see, I used Rune of Power and Dreadian Spark maybe 6 seconds before my touch of the Magi was ready, but it's that's because we had Ur, uh, Ur buff coming, that's why I trusted that my cooldown is going to get reduced enough, and that's what happened. Once you play Arcane a bit, you get used to how, you know, or each spec apparent, actually, you get used to how cooldowns are reduced with Ur, so you can, you know, do them faster. <coughs> We have Bloodlust now, and that's perfect because Bloodlust comes on my on my CDs. I also took the doubt bonus. I also crit it again. Uh, I trolled though, cause I I died, and so my touch of damage I didn't do any damage. Uh, I should have just gone away. I want to stay in a bit more for my Rune of Power. That was a bit sad. Um, I'll put my bag there to get an Augment Rune because my. The bar which I have Augment Rune on is hidden while I'm in combat, so I, <laughs> I couldn't just press it. Uh, my keybind, I mean. So we have 2 minutes to do like 3 million damage, uh, that's alright. My 45 seconds are coming up right now, so I know I can do uh, 2 more APs. The lightness of this in your psyche. Since this link thing uh, came, I used Orb to generate the 4th Radiant Spark debuff on my target. Uh, and I'm just waiting for AP right now. Uh, I also have my potion coming back up for my last AP. Not Ruby though, but I think that's alright. Uh, like, it still does a lot of damage. Watch your step. This warlock was really pumping the the boss though. I wasn't because <laughs> uh, I didn't have as the funnel on for the boss at the like on pool. As you can see, I'm using my EP right now with 1.2 million left on the boss. I didn't crit. I'm just trying to play it safe here. And yeah. This was, to be honest, a pretty clean run. Uh, I don't have much to say about it. Like, uh, it was a pog run, so no voice, guys. Uh, but Mist is pretty straightforward. You just, you know, follow the group, and uh, we did it. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you on the next one.